Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be hopefully starting a new series in which I'm going to review different games and recommend them or not recommend them to you. Um, and hopefully you'll find this interesting. So let's get started with our first game, Gunpoint. So Gunpoint is one of the games uh, made by Suspicious Developments, the devs who also made Heat Signature, which we'll probably review in a later video, but is definitely one of my favourite games. Um, it's a puzzle action game uh, with a lot of strategy and stealth, um, and it's really nice how they've combined the puzzles into an action, it really does feel like you're in an action movie. Yeah, it's normally £6 on Steam. But currently it's in the winter sale and it's £3, it's half price. And at the end of this, if you want to go and check it out, there is a demo on Steam. And the storyline is that you got caught up in the murder, which you can see on screen. Um, and you're the prime suspect because you were caught on camera before you entered the guy's apartment. And you're trying to protect yourself and end up unravelling um, all sorts of cover-ups. And it leads to a fabulous boss battle at the end. The story plays out really nicely, there's a lot of uh, chat between you and your employers, um, so like Rook, um, the CEO of the company you're mainly working for, um, but you also work for the enemy and also trying to help in some people who got caught up in this. So here you can see the first puzzle. It's not particularly interesting, but it gets you into the concepts of uh, jumping and windows and all of the controls. I love the art style in the game. I think it's one of my favourite. The game's just been executed really nicely. Uh, the music is fabulous. Um, unfortunately, there's not enough gameplay, I would say. It's got a relatively short playtime of only about three hours. And if you're quicker, you can probably complete it in two or maybe one and a half hours. It's up to you whether you think it's worth the six pounds. And another nice feature is it gradually feeds you into the game. It's got a really good difficulty curve, which means that the puzzles are always solvable but challenging, which is what I really want from a puzzle game. The upgrades are also really nice. I love how they've got the shops so you can progress in your own way. And this is um, something called cross-linking, which is where you rewire the levels effectively. And I think this has been done so fabulously. It's totally not an afterthought. It's been built into the game and it just works really, really well. And it's definitely my favorite thing of the entire game. A few other points. Although there's not enough gameplay, I would have said, there are a lot of levels on the Steam Workshop. It increases the playtime you can have in the game, and you can also build your own levels with the level editor, which is another feature that's been done really nicely. And I think that's about it. So, I'll let you watch the rest of the video, and you don't have to listen to me anymore.
you enjoyed this video and want to see more of these reviews, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as I will definitely be making more of them.